On the night of September 1st, the remnants of Hurricane Ida came through and unexpectedly dropped probably close to eight inches of rain within a short span of time that night. Our building was under one to three feet of water in most areas of the building. Hi, I'm Ian, the thinker of the team. Thomas Edison once said, there's a way to do it better, find it. The world already has a way to decrease the amount of floods from drains. However, there is currently no solution to prevent the damage caused by floods and purify the, resu the resulting water while simultaneously promoting green infrastructure. Our school flooded during Hurricane Ida in 2021 because of its low elevation and its close proximity to the nearby group. So our team flood force chose this idea to purify water that will be wasted from floods and block leftover flood water with a flood barrier. Our motivation stems from our concerns about wasted water and the damage caused by floods. Hi, I'm Hajun, the builder of the team. Our invention aims to make the environment greener with natural layers of soil and grass while also stopping flood water. We turn that flood water into clean water and barriers to keep some water from getting to the drains. Our invention, the Tide Turner, works with Pascal's Law in water pressure to lift a barrier that blocks the water. When it's not raining as much, the barrier goes back underground and makes the ground flat again. We also have a drain where water can come in and have holes around it to suck it in. Um, when water comes inside the drain, it will get purified with a filter into drinkable and usable water. This is glass. This is fine sand, this is coarse sand, and this is gravel. Um, also, the water will come into the drain in a spiral way to slow the process down so there is less chance of the drain overflowing. We can use a tide turner for our school parking lots and driveways since they have hard surfaces such as asphalt that can move water quickly. We can also use our invention in other public places such as the fire department and other places where water sources pass or are next to so if those water sources overflow, it will not flood those public places. According to weather.gov, the national 30-year average for flood deaths is approximately 127 people per year, with nearly half of all flash flood fatalities being vehicle-related. The majority of victims are males, and flood deaths affect all age groups. Though through our research, we found out that floods are usually at least 30 feet high or above. The height of these floods will cause more water to go onto the surface and overflow. Having experienced multiple floods in Creskill, we understand the harmful impact they have on our environment and community health. Our invention could also be applicable in regions prone to frequent floods, such as the Netherlands, where heavy rainfall is common. Applying our invention in such areas could help prevent flooding and help create less concrete and greener environments. Team. Based on our estimates, the construction cost of our invention is approximately $650 per square feet. The prototype tie turner consists of a base module covering an area of about 10 square feet, resulting in a total cost of $6,500 per tie turner unit. For the Cresco High School project, we estimate the need of approximately 14 tie turners totaling approximately $91,000. Likewise, for the Creskill Fire Department project, we estimate the need of around 10 tie turners with a total cost of approximately $65,000. Thoroughly.
thoroughly researched the statistics of flood and explored various materials before starting the invention process. After the precedent research, we focused on crafting a prototype that showcased the essential components, the barrier and the filtration system. Through a series of rigorous testing and study models, we found challenges that guided our refinement process. We realized that we needed something to hold the barrier up so that the water could push it up. So we made another prototype with a clear white foam board and made a barrier stopper to hold the barrier up. Additionally, we encountered issues with drainage overflow during testing. To solve this, we added stoppers on both ends, allowing a controlled and gradual water flow preventing potential overflow. Our invention, the tide turner, is designed to address the major concerns of flooding by offering innovative solutions. Unlike traditional flood barriers like the quick dam, the tide turner not only prevents flooding but also addresses the issue of wasted water from floods. The tide turner uses permeable surfaces to absorb water, eliminating the need for specific water holding capacities like those found in the quick dam. Instead, our invention purifies stormwater as it is absorbed, making it reusable. Here's how it works. As water is absorbed, it fills up the bottom, then moves through a pipe to the other side, where our flood barrier is deployed. This innovative approach sets the tie turner apart from anything else on the market. Moreover, the tie turner helps create a green infrastructure by encouraging the use of permeable surfaces. By educating people on the benefits of permeable materials and flood barriers, we can not only prevent floods, but also contribute to a better environment. The tie turner offers an innovative and sustainable solution to the challenges caused by floods. Why not save buildings, save money, and save water to make a healthier environment?